Hello, and welcome back to Planner Apocalypse. Hello. Today is Blog Humbug Day number three, question mark, I think. So I thought I would do a Morrigan altar tour because my plan with me is not ready yet. I've been editing it all day. I am not a, like a professional altar maker or anything like this. So, you know, if you have an altar and it looks different, uh, different strokes for different folks and such. So this is a painting of the Morrigan from Mickey Muller on Etsy. It was a gift from a friend a couple years ago. We've got this Morrigan themed altar cloth, which I also got on Etsy. I will try to link everything below. I found some crow feathers that were left for me, quote unquote, managed to find their way to me. So I just put them on the altar. Don't mind this strange thing <laughs> that says Terminator on it. I had this, basically all of this stuff is stuff that I had already, well, for the most part. So yeah, we've got a, an LED candle. This is actually in my bedroom, so I don't like having an open flame unattended for obvious reasons. Those are not crow feathers, but uh, that's a four leaf clover that I found in the backyard. I have a new card that I need to replace that with. This is a copper coin from Celtic Lore on Etsy. I also have a matching necklace, so this is like my altar piece. You can hold this at like if you're meditating to have something to meditate on. She looks totally badass though, you know, like totally sending her flock or her murder of crows or ravens to be like peck those fuckers eyes out, you know what I'm saying? I have a fake crow here because it was in our Halloween stuff. This is, I always put um, water on her altar. This is just like a shamrock shot glass that was my Irish grandmother's. Um, this was a gift to my mother from someone from Ireland. My mom just gave it to me last year, so I just gave it to the Morrigan. This is a quartz horse carving. Um, I put it on the altar for Maka, uh, who is associated with horses. She is one of the Morrigan sisters. I have roses on here. Not an official plant association, by the way. That's just how I associate. It's red. It's got thorns, like a spear. She, in the lore, wears a red cloak, has red hair, red eyebrows. Um, she is a shapeshifter. As you will see, I have a cow. This is a harvest moon cow. Um, <laughs> and it's wearing these raven wings that... I had bought for my daughter when she was born. My daughter's middle name is Ravenna. This is before I met the, the Morrigan and before the Morrigan became my, my deity. So that was kind of a weird thing that happened. In ancient Irish culture, wealth was actually measured by the number of cows you have. So the, the Morrigan is a goddess of sovereignty and sorcery, battle, um, so obviously, the, the way that the ancient Irish people would wage war, their idea of war or battle would be cattle raids. So, you know, that guy has more cattle than I do. I want to take those cattle because that represents riches. So, yeah. This giant chunk of amethyst came with my crow tarot deck. This tray was the first thing um, that I set up for her. This is, it's from D&L Co. This is a mother of pearl inlay of a skull. I have to clean this altar. It's kind of dusty. This is a blackthorn wand hand carved from Ireland. I got it on Etsy by uh, a man named Peter, I think. And he was absolutely a doll. He was wonderful. This is where I will burn an incense stick sometimes. It's just a shell. In the... Irish belief system, whatever, cosmology, whatever, uh, instead of having four elements like, you know, earth, air, fire, water, you have earth, sea, and sky. So I tried to have some of that on my altar. So earth, we've got flowers, sea, we've got water, we've got the shell, and then sky, we've got the, the wand. You know, also the earth here for the stone and, and the blackthorn wand. Blackthorn is, to my knowledge, this is my own personal gnosis, so like, I will try to fact check, but 
I, I believe Blackthorn is the most associated with her, but yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, like we've, we've got the cool stuff there. Yeah. So every morning I get out of bed and I just come over here. I say good morning. I light the candle and I, I dump out the glass. I fill up a new glass, put it there, just stay there for a, a bit. And then I do have an altar downstairs that I will light a candle with and I kind of like in my mind connect it to this candle. Fire in Irish culture is very important. It's, you know, something that warms the, the hearth and the home. So, you know, I like to try to have that on my, my altar space. And then at night I come and I say the prayer to the Morrigan that Laura O'Brien has provided, which I will link down below. Um, so really, that's about it. I make her coffee every morning, and that that's pretty much my daily devotion. You know, I, I fill up her water, I say good morning, I make her coffee every morning, and I say a prayer before bed every night. So anything more than that is just extra, and I, you know, I do try to do extra for her because she is very important to me. <laughs> If you have any questions, let me know. I don't know. What does your altar look like? Okay, bye. Thanks for watching.